So this is how you change a drum head. Um, you, ha you have your head, and then you take the old one off. Um, what you don't want to do is um, take all of them, or take one of them off at a time. You want to loosen each, each one so that you can unscrew them with your fingers. And that's the same thing um, when you put the head back on. You don't want to take, um, you don't want to put one lug on, and these are called tuning lugs. You don't want to put one on um, all the way. You want to tension them evenly, and it's the same thing as like if, you ch if you've ever changed a tire or something, there's tension on the rim of the drum, and <clears throat> you want to make sure that the tension is evenly distributed. So you, you make sure to loosen them and then unscrew them with your fingers. And as soon as we get the new head on here, it's going to be the same but in reverse. You're going to tighten them all with your fingers, and then you're going to um, slowly tune it up. So we almost have it. Clear beams. So there's the rim of the drum. Make sure you don't lose any of the tuning pegs or washers. The washers are pretty important. Too. So you want to take the head off and then. I usually keep my heads just in case I break one and I need it. If it's not already broken. If it's broken, just throw it away or recycle it. Um, I usually take a cloth and wipe off the edge um, just so there's no dust in between because that'll make the head sit weird. And then as soon as you wipe it off, you grab your new head and you make sure it's evenly on there. And once it's evenly on there, you put your rim back on and hopefully you clean the rim. Um, just like you clean the the edge of your drum. And like I said earlier, we want to um, finger tighten each one of the lugs and then we want to um, then we want to use our drum key. Now when we get them all finger tightened and we pick our bar drum key and get ready to start tuning, what we're gonna wanna do is pretend we're drawing a star with the order that we um, tune the drums. So if you if you look at it this way, you want to pretend like you're drawing a star. So you want to go across, and then across, and then across, and then across. You don't want to tune next to each other, because that will make the head sit extra tight on that part of the drum, and that, will, that might warp your, the rim of your drum. So as soon as you got all the lugs finger tight, then you get your drum key, and you pick one, and then you tighten it a little bit. I usually do a turn or a half a turn, and I just make sure that the tuning peg is grabbing the, the, the thread on the inside. And then you make a little star pattern, and you just do like maybe a turn and it's kind of like stretching a balloon you want to tighten it a little bit and then tighten it a little extra like a little bit more than you would um, to play it so that the head stretches so um, if you've ever heard like jazz drumming before it kind of sounds like a jazz thumb when I first tune and then I, I kind of leave it that way for a little while. If you want to get right into playing, I would play it with it kind of this tight, and then it will just sort of, um, it will get lower in pitch as you play. Or after like a couple days, you can tune it down to the sound that you want. Um, and it's the same thing with, with tuning the drum. You want to go into star pattern, and you want to match the edge of the drum's pitch to the next edge in the star pattern. Um, if you have any questions, you can bring your drum in and I'll help you tune it up for you, but that's how you change your head.